Uh, today is August 25th, 2020, and I'm here to do our daily check-in, so let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels in the highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. Alright guys. So I'm going to go ahead and burn uh, some sage to clear my space. And also the decks that I'll be using in today's reading. I hope everyone is doing well for today. Let's go ahead and see what are the energies like for today's masculine and feminine. Spirit, please reveal to me what is the current overall energies of our masculines and feminines for today. What is the current overall energies, please, Spirit? I'm going to shuffle it one more time. What is the current overall energy? between this masculine and divine feminine and what are their energies towards each other thank you spirit so for the masculines take your time the journey is just as important if not more than the destination like the caterpillar he enters into the world to arrive to a state of evolved growth just like we do but you cannot always rush the process or it will not be the right time timing is important in many situations soon when a father time feels it to be that moment it is then and only then will you be ready to fly and soar and explore the next stage. So masculines, I really feel like overall they're being called to just take their time. You know, try not to hurry or speed things up, but just go with the flow. Okay, that's really beautiful. And wow, towards uh, the feminine, we have just friends. You are a part of someone's tribe. A friend is always important to have, but this card speaks that someone sees you just as a friend. Now, I really feel like this masculine really sees that their feminine is just a friend and no more, you know, and I really feel like a uh, masculine, they need to take their time. Instead of like uh, making a decision that they're putting you in the friend zone, right, feminines? And I'm pretty sure there's a good handful of you who your masculine has told you that they don't see you uh, as a, um, a person to spend their life with. They just saw you as a friend. But what I'm feeling is that spirit wants to let this masculine know that Take your time, masculine. You know, you could uh, friend zone your feminine, and, and that's that's okay. But, you know, this is a journey, okay? And, and it's a slow unfolding. That's what I'm seeing. Now, for some of you feminines, you know, um, you actually see your masculine as just a friend. But I really feel like this is a masculine who sees their feminine as a friend situation, okay? Now, with you, feminine, we have faith. 
You're being called to hold faith within your soul right now. Move forward knowing that sometimes we have to take a leap even if we cannot see the outcome. Sometimes our soul calls us to move, simply to teach us we can, to be driven and guided by inner faith that regardless of the outcome, there is something to learn through the experience. So, feminines, I feel like you have to take a leap of faith, a leap of faith sorry. When it comes to your uh, connection with your masculine, I feel like you're faced with the decision, feminines, and you don't know what the future holds. You really don't see your masculine being a part of your physical life, from what I can feel. Masculines, they just need to take their time instead of trying to make a decision, you know, to really just see you as a friend. Feminines, I feel like a divine is asking you to have faith. Just go with the flow, is what I'm feeling. And towards your masculine, we have let go. Learn to try and let go so things can happen on their own. When we try to take over and not let things happen naturally, we could essentially be altering the events that could unfold naturally, as well as missing very important moments and blessings we will only experience once with someone. Wow. This reading is deep, guys. I already see where it's going. So, feminines, okay? I really feel like, you know, when it comes to your masculine, you're learning to let go of outcomes. You know, I think it was in yesterday's reading or the day before where uh, there was a control situation dealing with the feminines, where feminines, you were trying to control the situation, trying to do whatever you can. Is there anything that you can do so you can come into union? Well, feminines, okay? All you have to do is just trust, have faith, take a leap of faith, follow your heart, okay? Follow your inner guidance and your gut feeling that it's okay to let go of your masculine. That doesn't mean let go for good. Just let go of expectations, let go of outcomes. If you're feeling your masculine and you're feeling that you're slowly coming to union, you know, accept, you know, those energies and let it go, okay? Um, because if um, you uh, really uh, set your mind towards, you know, a certain outcome and it doesn't come into fruition, it leads to disappointment. So, Observe that energy as it comes, embrace it, feel good, and let it go, and, and let it go towards the universe. Let universe guide uh, and, and go with the flow, okay? That's the feel I'm getting, because I really feel like feminines, you really have to trust that everything is going to work out in divine timing. That's what I'm seeing. We want our masculine so, so bad. But maybe the timing isn't now. Maybe your masculine has to go through one more lesson. Maybe they have to go in, in a new direction and uh, be with another karmic person, okay? And this could go in a whole new direction and you have known your masculine for years and lo and behold, your masculine chooses uh, a new karmic uh, situation. If that's the case, feminines, let them go. Okay, because your masculine has a karmic lesson or a contract that they need to fulfill so that they can learn a personal lesson, you know, on their particular life, their actions. And even if you don't want to let your masculine go, you have to. You know, there's time and time again that, you know, there's a sense of desperation. You'll do anything so that you can be in union with your masculine. Well, the feeling has to be mutual. And before both counterparts can come to that awareness, you have to go through certain karma to learn from it, okay, grow from the situation, okay, and revisit, um, you know, the energies between you and your divine counterpart. And at that point, does your masculine truly miss you? Do they truly know what they have let go? You have to have faith. You cannot cling. You cannot grasp. Okay? You cannot be codependent or needy on a particular outcome. You have to let go and, and just trust. Okay, feminine? Wow.
That's really deep, guys. Okay, so let's see. What is the underlying energy? Please, Spirit. What is the underlying energy with this masculine and feminine energy? What is the underlying energy, please, Spirit? You know, you have to let divine order take place. Guys, I've been there. Okay. I know. So... Wow, see, look at this. We have soulmates. So, masculine, okay, they're taking their time. The journey is just as important, if not the destination, when it comes to your soulmate, okay? Like the caterpillar, they enter into a world and arrive to a state of evolved growth. This masculine needs to grow, okay? This masculine has to realize that. They have a true divine counterpart, which is you, feminine, and you're the, the person that brings stability into your masculine's energy, is what I'm feeling. And this masculine knows that it is time to have a new start to change. This masculine knows they have to change because when father time feels it is to be that moment, it is then. This masculine got some growing up to do, okay? That is the feeling I'm getting. And towards you, feminine, we have yin. So masculine knows that you are their divine feminine, okay? You are the feminine energy right now. They're just treating you as a friend. If your masculine comes back and tells you that they just want a friendship, be a friend, okay? Don't have any expectations, you know, because your love is unconditional. Everyone, uh, you know, everyone's journey is different from what I can feel. And I really feel like this masculine is feeling this feminine energy when it comes to you. That's what I'm feeling, guys. They know that you're their soulmate or their twin flame. They know that you hold the key to their heart. That is so beautiful, guys. Oh, and this penguin is wearing a blue scarf. That's so pretty. I like it. Guys, you know, this, uh, this connection is divinely protected, okay? Just because uh, it doesn't come on your time doesn't mean, you know, it's, it do it's not going to work. It all is in divine timing, divine order, okay? That's what I'm seeing. And with you, feminine, time for a nap. So, feminines, I really feel like you haven't been resting. You haven't been sleeping. And I can attest for that, guys. I don't know. I finally got off my Allegra, and um, I think I need to get back on it because Allegra has been helping me to sleep. Um... I really like Allegra for that reason. <laughs> the feminines, okay? You need to take time for a nap, okay? That's what I'm feeling. Everyone needs, like, a time out is what I'm getting. And towards your masculine, okay, be the observer. So I really feel like feminines, it's time to observe, okay? So this is um, the Page of Swords energy, right? Looking at your masculine from a distance making observations you know it's okay to let go try not to you know control the situation if you feel like you know you need to intervene you know because your masculine is about to go towards a karmic let them go that means it's not your time as much as you really want it and i i get it guys okay like i said it's hurtful i've been there i know Sometimes you have to let them go so they can learn their lessons is what I'm feeling. So let me go ahead and see. I guess the, let me go ahead and pull some gypsy oracles and see what is going on with the masculines in their physical life. What is currently going on with the masculine? Actually, you know what? I want to pull the lemon uh, in for today. Let's see.
Spirit, please reveal to me what is uh, the energies of this masculine in their current 3D life. What is going on with the masculine's energy in their physical life? Please, Spirit. What is going on, please, Spirit, with the Divine Masculine Collective? Thank you. We have the sun. And guys, you know, today was a beautiful day. I really feel like uh, they're feeling really uh, positive in the workplace. Um, I feel like, you know, their work is actually becoming more stable. Um, they're building up their finances. And I feel like the, their financial situation is actually looking a little bit better these days. Oh, boy. But um, there is a snake, okay, that wants a piece of that action. Dang. You know, masculines, I really feel like, for some of these masculines, they need to take their time. They could be involved with a soulmate, okay, or a karmic situation, which I do see here. This karmic could be a fire sign. They could be a Leo, an Aries, or Sagittarius, okay? Uh, but I'm just saying, okay, that doesn't mean that's you, feminine, if you're watching this video. What I'm saying is that, you know, also this masculine is seeing... Uh, the truth about this karmic situation and they're seeing you feminines that uh, because of this karmic this masculine is uh, set on their spiritual path so we have to thank the karmic okay for being in our masculine's life as much as we don't like it okay but we appreciate them uh you know for doing their duties to help put your masculine uh back on the right track right that is the feeling that I'm getting. Also, we have a tower. Now, the tower in the Lenormand is actually different uh, than the one in the Tarot. So, with this particular tower, what I'm feeling is that Masculines is looking towards the future. They want to build something solid. They want to uh, possibly, you know, buy a house is what I'm feeling. They want to leave uh, the past behind. And they could possibly want to travel towards you. This masculine is thinking. Uh, you know, and also, uh, for some of these masculines, they're thinking about traveling to a distant location. I really feel like uh, maybe because, you know, their finances are looking a little bit better. And it's just time to, to either go on a vacation or travel. Is what I'm seeing. Yeah, and I see here a book. So, masculine is really thinking... Uh, something about the long-term situation making a choice about their past about their family about their stability masculines are really thinking they're really taking their time feminines is what i'm getting so if this masculine is getting out of a karmic situation they're taking their time so some of these masculines they're not leaving a karmic situation and jumping into a relationship with you or another karmic okay some of these masculines i really feel that they've left a karmic situation or there's still multiple karmic situations going going through but um they're doing it slowly they're taking their time you know i feel like there's some news coming towards this masculine it could be uh, based on spiritual growth, spir spirituality, but also uh, the love that they have to you, feminine. I feel like some of these masculines, you know, they could be sharing some news with you or communicating some messages. They do love you, feminine. Some of these masculines, they could tell you that they do, but, you know, this energy uh, from this masculine to you, feminine, from what I can see is, you know, they really see you as a friend. And they, they really find you beautiful and very feminine. They really like uh, that energy about you is what I'm getting. Very um, gentle communication is what I'm feeling, right? Yeah, I see that you guys are sending each other messages or you could receive a message from your masculine or masculines could be receiving a message from you or someone else. You know, I feel like this masculine receives a message or they're delivering a message and it really makes them happy. It's about a new beginning, guys. 
you know, it could be a, a beginning of a new friendship, okay? Take it as it resonates, but I really feel like what this masculine really wants is they want to take their time. They want to start off as friends, establish like a friendship before jumping into like a deep relationship. Yeah, they're taking a chance. They're taking a chance based on this uh, communication. You know, because they've reflected a lot about their past, their past decision and choices. They know that there has to be some sort of change for this new beginning. And they're trying to make that decision to really, you know, do things more balanced is what I'm getting. Yeah, and I feel like uh, if they're in a tricky situation, they're slowly getting out of it. So I feel like slow and steady wins the race, right? This is the tortoise energy from I can feel. Doing things as slowly and methodically is what I'm getting. Not really fast like a bunny. <laughs> I feel like uh, the masculine used to be a bunny, but now they're a turtle. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling, guys, okay? So, feminines, uh, what is going on with your energy? Spirit, please reveal to me what is currently going on with the feminine's energy. What is going on with the feminine collective, please, Spirit? And it's 222, two, two, making decisions, guys, okay? It's a time to make a choice. What is this stable choice? Let's see. We have a star. So I feel like feminines, you know, you're hoping. You're hoping that your masculine will come back. That's what I'm seeing. So you're trying to have a, you know, this blind fate. You need to take a nap and rest, okay? Just, just take it easy, okay? Don't overwork yourself is what I'm getting. I also feel like, uh, feminines, you just want to have a new start, you know, you're, you're feeling the spiritual connection, so I feel like, feminines, you're going to have faith in the connection, right? You're, you're going to be uh, divinely guided about your wish fulfillment when it comes to your masculine. I feel like, feminines, you're looking more about, like, what stabilizes you, what balances you, right? Hence the reason why I saw the 222. You know, and uh, wanting to have like a, a new beginning, but you have to change. If you want this wish, there's something that you have to change, and I feel like you have to let go. You have to surrender. You know, and I feel like that should be the title of this reading. Feminines, learn to surrender so that what comes to you, you know, comes naturally in divine timing. Do not force it. Okay, do not control. Do not manipulate. Okay, and, uh, you know, trust the process. This is a journey, right? Wow, and we have uh, these, uh, what is this, lilies? We have the lilies, okay, and I see that feminines, you want to make peace, you know, uh, with working on your situation with your masculine. And I feel like, you know, you want to communicate have like a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that is what you wish for so uh the feminines for today even though that um for some of you you could be in communication with your masculine and more than anything you want to have like a real talk right you want to have like a heart-to-heart -heart conversation adult conversation about making peace with your wish what is it that you wish for? You're making observations. You're not um, chasing. You're not pursuing. I feel like uh, you're actually having faith, sleeping on it, right? Okay, trying not to make hasty decisions and learning to let go and trust in the universe. Because I feel like Father Time with your masculine i don't know what the planets are doing right now uh, i'm not an astrologer but i'm feeling that um saturn okay uh, maybe affecting something in your masculine when it comes to love i really feel like there's something like that guys and guys I, i'm not uh you know i i don't i can't read a freaking astrological chart to save my life okay all i see is lines and stuff but that is what i'm seeing there's, there's a slow transition here where this masculine is 
really enjoying this friendship, okay? They're taking things slow. They want to get to know you on a very deep level by starting off with this friendship. This is beautiful, guys. You know, and I really feel like uh, this is actually how you guys started when you first met your masculine. You guys were just friends and you guys knew uh, so much about each other. That is what I'm feeling. Wow, this is beautiful. Also, well, <laughs> feminines. So, <laughs> you start off as friends and then what? It escalates to a uh, passion, throws a passion. <laughs> I feel like feminines, okay, you're making peace with your masculine about this new beginning love. You're going to take it slow this time by learning about your masculine on a very deep level. And both of you guys are doing this to each other is what I'm feeling. You have a sense of peace of going things really slow this time. That's the feeling I'm getting, like really knowing each other, really being open, being more transparent, you know, sharing um, each other's deep feelings, you know, even philosophies is what I'm feeling. And, and it feels really good, guys. This is, you've, you've wished this, I mean, you guys, you know, at the end of the day, I really feel like you guys um, really, you know, leave each other with smiles on your faces, right? Even though you guys aren't really physically together. And you go to bed thinking of your masculine before you go to sleep and you wake up early in the morning thinking of your masculine, you know, for another conversation, a friendly conversation. That's what I feel like, guys. Sorry. And you're very protective, feminines. I feel like feminines, you're really burdened. You're really guarding yourself. That is what I'm saying, you know, for this new beginning. There's, there's, there's change here when it comes to your connection with your divine counterpart. I feel like whatever that you've been in the past, it's changing and you're getting to know your masculine deeper. This is really beautiful, guys. I can actually feel this. I can see it. I see you guys happy. And it's a very genuine, mutual feeling that you guys have for each other. When you guys communicate in a very friendly way. And feminists, you're, you're stripping things away from you that, you know, that you were holding on to. Okay, these are negative beliefs. This could be toxic relationships, okay? I feel like you've made a choice that, you know, you're you're going to enjoy this uh very lighthearted, casual conversation with your masculine. That's what I'm feeling, guys. And I see that, you know, there's a change. You're, tra you're transforming, okay? Transformation. You know, the masculine is actually going through this with take your time with this butterfly. You know, that's what I'm feeling. They're taking their time to to go through this transformation. This is beautiful, guys. I'm actually seeing this in my, my mind. It's like this slow process, this slow unfolding, this friendship, okay? I feel that this is actually changing you feminines to become more independent, not really codependent, not being clean, learning to let go of outcomes. You're enjoying, you know, this slow unfolding of this of friendship with your masculine is what I'm feeling. You're just observing how beautiful this connection really is. It really does make you happy. And I really feel like you're afraid to let your masculine know how truly it, it does make you feel. Hence the reason why you're falling for your masculine over and over. But Spirit is saying, have faith, okay? That's the beauty of this connection. Because you're learning something from it. It's been uh, spiritually, divinely guided. It is a divinely orchestrated 
and it requires patience. Guys, this is so beautiful. I really feel that, you know, feminines, you know, with this new beginning and this spiritual wisdom that you have gained from, you know, from your life experiences and also knowing your masculine, okay, really, you know, put you into a mindset of making decisions to really work on yourself. That's what I'm feeling, guys. This is beautiful, man. So let me get into the reading, okay? And I'm going to combine both masculine and feminine energies. So spirit, please reveal to me what is uh, the collective general energies of this masculine and feminine? What is the, the mutual energies between this divine masculine and divine feminine? What are the mutual energies, please spirit? Because I really feel like uh, for some of you feminines, you're actually talking to your masculine. That's what it seems like. And it's really beautiful. So let's see. We have the devil, okay? So I really feel that, you know, this is a strong Capricorn energy, guys, okay? I'm just saying. But what I'm feeling is that there is a devil energy, okay, that is around this masculine and feminine. There's uh, something uh, tempting, okay? And I saw that with the masculine's underlying energy here with the sun. Uh, there is a karmic energy that, that wants to take uh, this uh, gorgeous beautiful energy from your masculine okay that is what i'm feeling and i feel like um you know i feel like both masculines and feminines you guys want to get out of this deception this betrayal this heartbreak right with the ten of swords you know i feel like there was an ending to this okay due to like this codependency this um negative behavior and i feel like for feminines uh i feel like you just need to let go of this toxic energy of you know wanting to be in a full-on relationship with your masculine right masculines they're they're actually getting out of a karmic relationship and you know for some of them they already are but they're still dealing with the karmic energy but they're choosing to just stay sovereign okay you know trying to heal themselves and you know there's a devil energy that's lurking okay and I see that, you know, you guys are going to put an end to this uh, devil energy is what I'm seeing. And I also see you guys are going to go with the flow. So both you guys are in the flow of the universal energy, okay, of manifesting, I guess, friendship first, right? <laughs> you know, uh, getting out of this third party situation of this uh, heartbreak. Okay, and I really feel like, you know, this is on both sides, okay? Both masculines and feminines had to go through this heartbreak energy from I can feel it and really heal from it. And I see that both you guys are letting go of whatever you guys were holding on to for something more. And I see that, you know, there could have been some inner conflict fighting yourself about what to do, what your next steps are. Also getting out of situations, you know, dealing with karmics and finding peace within yourself and towards each other. And I see that there's a lot of healing work, okay? You know, for both masculines and feminines, you know, like really looking at the third party situation, um, knowing that the love was always there between you and your divine counterpart. And I also see that there was a uh, manipulation, there was a uh, selfishness going on, you know, tit for tat to each his own, right? And you guys are actually getting out of this. I feel like, you know, both you guys aren't aware of this because I see that, you know, both you guys are making observations at this time. I see it with the feminines by you letting go of outcomes, but also I see that this is for the masculines as well. And... You know, both of you were holding back, you know, of the past. Whatever your past situationship was, you weren't ready to let go. And I feel like, you know, with you, you guys were not able to let go of each other. That is what I'm feeling. 
and I see that both you guys want to have another chance. That's all I'm seeing. You know, for some of you masculines, y'all, your masculine could be singing a song. <laughs> you know, playing some music if they play instruments, right? They have a sense of intuition. And I see here there's a kitty, you know, that is uh, taunting this butterfly. So the kitty to me is this uh, intuition, right? That That's you. That could be masculine. And that's the, the masculine, okay, as this butterfly, as they're changing and transforming. But also, feminines, I see that that is in your energy as well. I feel like both you guys are going through this change, okay? And I see that there's going to be an apology. There's going to be like some small, you know, opening, you know, where masculine or feminine, you guys are going to be opening up towards each other and saying, you know, you're sorry. It's something like that, okay? Uh, it, it's going to start off really friendly from what I can feel. So, there is an awareness that I'm feeling um, coming from both sides, the masculines and feminines, about this a divine connection. And I see that both you guys are getting out of your heads. You guys are not really stressing out anymore. Both of you guys are on the same sheet of music from what I can feel. Both are being spiritually guided and awakened. For you, friends, it's you to have faith and let go and trust. And masculine is learning to take their time to be patient with you, feminine. Learning who is their true soulmate. They, they told you they just want to be friends, but they know that you're their divine feminine. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, and I see here the sun. So the sun comes up two times masculine. Energy is showing up. And it feels joyful. It feels really happy. There's there's a lot of positive energy coming from the masculines today. It's because they can see that they have been hiding some stuff from you, feminines, but you know, feminines, you're the all-knowing. And so you have a sense you know, of what your masculine is up to, right? Masculine is holding back a secret. But also, this is you, feminine. You could be holding something back from your masculine, you know? But I see that this sun is revealing the truth that the masculine wanted to communicate for some of these masculines, I feel like it's telepathic communication. Like you're actually getting this information some way, somehow, feminine, okay? But it's very clear now that you're, you're their queen of wands. That's what I'm seeing. So this is the divine of feminine, okay? So in, in the previous, I saw there's a divine feminine and the reverse. Okay, this is a divine feminine and the upright. So I definitely feel like feminines, okay? There is something here that masks can see that they, they're very passionate towards you, okay? They want to come forward towards you. They want to get to know you. They see this. They feel this. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse. And in the heart, they feel that there is a karmic who had cut them up so that they couldn't feel this passion anymore. The energies between you and a karmic is, is very different. The karmic, okay, could have been like an air sign, um, a Libra, uh, Aquarius, or um, what's the other air sign? Gemini. This karmic was um, very manipulative with their words. They knew how to lie to your masculine. They're not used to this uh, fun, beautiful energy coming from you. This masculine can see now. They couldn't see before. I feel like because they, they were clouded, um, maybe they were um, abusing drugs or alcohol and they couldn't really see the truth. But for today, this masculine can see the truth, okay, about this karmic and about you. 
they they can see the difference. They they're now getting out of their head about the situation. Wow, and it deals with a family. This masculine has a family uh, tie or a situationship with this uh, air sign. Okay, this karmic. And that's what the secret was. The secret was is that family was really holding them back. This masculine now sees that they let themselves be stuck because of this family situation. Wow. Masculines, um, they're really seeing a lot today, to be honest, guys. Okay, it's very clear that's coming that um, the cause of this heartbreak is because of this uh, Queen of Swords energy, this karmic and this person came in between you and your masculine from coming in, into this beautiful union with the family, okay, with kids, with the dogs, maybe a kitty is what I'm seeing. And I see that uh, you guys are, are getting out of this mental entrapment, okay, with the Eight of Swords in reverse. Both you guys are getting unstuck from your head okay that you're you should be stuck you know i really feel like masculines know that they were holding themselves back with this mental thinking wow and now that they, they got it they had an awareness they had an aha a breakthrough moment they can see very clearly now about the truth of the matter dealing with the karmic the karmic wasn't uh, honest they were fake they were lying, they were manipulative, and they see that family, you are always warm, always inviting, uh, always so overgiving of your energy, you know, you make things happen. The masculine sees the, the, the difference between you and the karmic. This masculine can see about what family should be like, you know, that's what I'm feeling. And finally, we have the king of swords okay so overall i see that this masculine knows that they were in their distorted masculine energy they were keeping secrets they weren't being honest they were hiding their truth that um they were stuck in their head they knew that they they didn't have to be stuck but they put themselves in that way and i really feel like it's because of this karmic uh, put a number on your masculine because they're like two peas in the pod, right? Both of them were operating in a very negative uh, karmic energy is what I'm feeling. That's why masculine was attracted towards this karmic because they're both distorted masculine and feminine energies over here due to a family situation. But this masculine is very clear now, okay, about their, their choices and decisions, about not being honest, not really communicating the truth toward this really warm, very beautiful and gentle feminine energy who always gave gifts, who always had flowers, right? Because I see a feminine here with flowers, right? masculine here have a flower right wearing their red dress <laughs> that's what I'm seeing guys right and it was because masculines was avoiding shaking things up with what they were used to that means they had to lose their home they had to lose their stability but it wasn't stable to begin with but they were holding on to it for dear life but i see that in the underlying energy both masculines and feminines feel that it is time to release and let go because that four pentacles energy in the reverse is not something worth to hold on to it, it's time to let it go so you can have like the ten of pentacles but this masculine realizes that they were investing into the karmic energy that's what they felt like um, that was more uh, secure for this masculine is what I'm feeling. That's what I'm saying, guys, okay? And they realize that they cut you out. Okay, this is uh, the Empress in the reverse. Because of this tower, because they didn't want to let, let it go, let it fall down, they cut you out. They, they didn't grow into the connection with you. That's why feminines, okay? That's why I see all of this, right? Your energy for today 
is to let go of your masculine. Let go of expectations if they're with the karmic, which I see, okay? Masculine, there is a karmic energy here that is in between you and your masculine, and it's dealing with a family situation or something long-term that they've invested. I feel like, you know, they have a house, they have, like, you know, uh, family, whatever the case is, right? They have a long history with this karmic over here, okay? Or if that's not a situation, they're invested into this air sign, karmic okay is what i'm seeing here but you feminine keep doing you okay because i see that um you you should just observe for now that that's all you have to do is be a, an observer in the situation and let go learn to and try to let go so things can happen on their own because masculines need to rock this tower down Okay, they, they need to rock it, okay? Let those rocks fall down, masculine. It's not worth salvaging, okay? Do you see that it's half broken anyways? Like, why, why do you want to keep that? Don't you want a brand new house? <laughs> Don't you want to have, like, new energies? Like, if you want something new, like, let go of the old shit, okay? So you have uh, new stuff coming through. This masculine is holding on to some old rubbles, okay? That's what I'm seeing. I don't know why. It's not even worth holding on to, right? That's why this masculine wasn't clear. They were holding uh, some secrets back. But this masculine sees now for themselves. So you have to trust, okay, feminines, and have faith, right? Have faith and the process, and I know, right, because there's a glare. Have faith, feminines, okay, that just take time out, okay? It's time for a nap. Don't, don't hurt yourself, okay, princess? <laughs> get you your beauty sleep okay like take a damn bath <laughs> from all I, I can say it's what i'm saying because this masculine has to go through a karmic ending so that they can come to you but i see that this masculine is offering friendship first that's what i'm saying that's really beautiful guys wow so let me go ahead and see what else Let's go ahead and see what is up with the masculine's madness, right? Spirit, please reveal to me what is at the masculine want to say to their feminine. What is at the masculine want to say towards their feminine? What is the mask I want to say to their divine feminine? I know I'm running out of time and patience. This masculine knows feminine, okay? So let the masculine, let them go. Let them let, work it out on their own timing. They know that they're running out of time. They're actually feeling impatient too. That's why these masculines might offer you just a friendship. Okay, you know, if, if that's what it is, accept it, feminine, okay? But, you know, don't accept the breadcrumbing is what I'm getting. My mind is torturing me with reminders of you everywhere I go. Tortured. Guys, okay, if you ever felt like, does the masculine ever feel the same as I do? Yes, they do, okay? They're tortured as much as you are, you know? So, feminines... <clears throat> masculine is feeling the call that's what I'm seeing okay and finally you have no idea how badly I want to taste you <laughs> this mask I'm thirsty wow they they need a, a thirst quencher right <laughs> they want to eat you up feminists <laughs> that's what I'm seeing you guys wow so let me go ahead and pull some more okay I'm going to go ahead and pull some Scorpio Moon Intuition cards. And guys, okay, um, for those of you who had uh, purchased uh, the, the deck for me, um, I've already shipped it to you yesterday, and I have two decks from that shipment left, okay? So this is what it looks like, okay, guys? Uh, it actually comes in its own little box. Isn't that quaint? 
and the instructions are here on the back. You can follow these instructions or you could use it, you know, however you use divination tools, okay? Um, but I have two of these uh, in my possession and uh, you can get it right away. Usually this takes like a pretty much like a month to get, but uh, since I have these, I, I can have this shipped to you within a matter of days, okay guys? So if you're interested, um, go ahead and check it out on my website, okay guys? So Spirit, what are the messages that this masculine wants to say to their feminines at this time? What is it that they would like to say to their divine feminines? I'm just trying to work on myself. I hope you understand. So feminines, if your masculine is delayed and they know that they have like this impatience going on, right? They know that they're running out of time. Just know that they're working on them, okay? And it, and it's really for the both of you. That's what I'm getting. I need time to work things out. Just know that I want you. Please be patient. <laughs> right, feminines? Let go of expectations and outcomes. You just got to be patient, okay? It's all in divine timing. And this masculine needs time, right? They know. They know. And final message, I want to be with you, I choose you, I love you. Guys, this is so beautiful. This masculine, they, they choose you, okay? So have faith and trust in this connection. This masculine does love you, is what I'm seeing. You just have to practice patience. No, no matter how long it takes them for you. You know, for some of you guys, it's been years, I get it. Hey, I'm in the same boat too, guys. But, you know, I always loved my masculine. I always have, you know. If if I'm not with my masculine, there's no one that could actually feel feel that that feeling that I get from my masculine. And my masculine knows because I like to touch him all the time. <laughs> I'm not like that with anybody, guys. And that's how much I love him, you know, and and that's what I'm feeling, you know, for this, uh, the my mask on here, they want to be with you, okay, so just be patient, okay, feminines, that's what I'm seeing, so let me go ahead and close out this reading with the whispers of the ocean card, okay, so if this reading is resonating with you, what is uh, the, the final guidance message that will help you in your journey? If this reading is resonating with you, what is your guidance message? Please, Spirit. Thank you. Wow, we have a number one, resilience. And what I see, the turtles, right? They used to be a bunny. Now this masculine is a turtle. <laughs> There's no need to rush or push. This is a time to take things as they come. You have the determination and patience to handle what is happening. <laughs> I can't make this reading up, okay? So the guidance is how resilient are you, okay? How resilient are you? You know, you, you, there's no need to rush things, okay? All is, is happening in divine timing. Trust the process because it's going to be beautiful. So I really hope that this reading was helpful. Let me know what you think. And thank you again for all your comments, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide a daily guidance messages here for the collective. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can visit me on my website at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And you can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a lovely day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.